Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about new package auth log. You mean say authentication log. When you want to catch a login, logout, and other activities of your user in your application, that time this package is very helpful. So let's see this package Laravel authentication log, and we can easily install this package through the composer. So first of all, I'm going to install this package in my application and show you demo step by step. So first of all, I copy this command from here and then I'm going to paste in my terminal. Let's open my terminal and paste it here and try to install this package in my application. This package installs Spicy Laravel package tool as a dependency and you can see it successfully installed. This package have a good documentation. So let's open and we follow the guide of this package. So installation part is done. Now we going to do other steps. But let's see first installations. One more package use as a dependency for capturing the locations and IP with this package but this package also work with few other third party services so i'm going to create one separate tutorial for this package so right now i go with this only laravel authentication log now let's see configurations we need to publish the migrations and then we need to run migration so i'm going to copy this command for publish migration files in this my application so let's clear and see log table.php this file created so let's open and you can see authentication table ip address user agent login it login successful logout everything and every fields already added in this migration so now i need to run migrate command so let's run php artisan migrate and let's open php my admin right now you can see not authenticate table showing here now i'm going to refresh this and you can see authentication log appear now i'm going to open this and right now no any data next is we need to publish view and email files so let's do this because it's a part of the installation step so we need to do and last one is publish the default config this config use as a setting of this package so let's open and you can see here authentication log.php all the default settings given here table name authentication log which is created in database db connections right now it's null because it's same database and events this events listen from class login fail logout so the capture events and store in database listeners also listen login failed logout all the listeners created by this package and capture events I'm going to make this false because right now we not go with this package so otherwise we get error so I'm going to make it false and this is yours uh, this one this configuration use for the delete the data all the data for example if you want to keep only one month log activity you just specify 30 days here and after 30 days means once 
uh, one record created in your database and uh, that record age 31 days it's automatically delete we can see in documentation but i explained right now what this setting doing so yeah configuration is good also this documentation show default config here as well and now we not need this because we are not using and last step is setting up your model so we need to add this trait in our user model so let's open user.php and just put it here and do not forget to import it here and save and i think we are done this is when you have a different class for the login and your your own coding that time if you want to change into the config which i explained all default class from the laravel but if you want to make it change you can do it from the config file and we are good in installations next you can getting logs and everything but uh, first of all i going to log in in my application and then i show you but login i don't have any users so i think i need to register we're going to specify name big so you can see and register and you can see you are logged in log out again i'm going to pass login and email and successfully log in and let's refresh and you can see two records created by default log out first time i register in log out so log out captured here login successful means i logged in successfully so it's showing location is not because we are not using that package with this package and authentic Gettable ID means user ID and this table is polymorphic. If you are using more than one tables in your application, still this package work for the user like you have a member, you have a user and we are using multiple tables for the authentication purpose. Still, you can use this package because this package is polymorphic. You just need to capture the name of the class and id and this is a local pc so ip address capture one right now and this is i think browser related thing and login it so you can show this activity in your applications and you can use various tables let me show you here getting logs so we can find with relationship user find authentications you can see other functions like last login at and last successful login at so let's see something here and dashboard you are logged in i want to show last logged in date here so let's try something in my application let's open home.plate you are logged in now i'm going to both user and going to use this method let's see what happens
and you can see this one showing here so you can see anything last successful login ip last login at last successful login at like that previous login at so this is for the user and you can display all the logs using the live wire this demo given here you just need to create second authentication log model and specify like that and you can create this kind of view uh, already code given into the this documentation so right now i skip but yeah you can do it using these packages but i think these packages you need to install or maybe it's come with laravel j string and this one is purging or logs means you can remove logs after some time your database size is increased because um, when you have more users and login log out so log is increased so if you want to keep limited data you can set this setting like 30 days 365 days or you can schedule one command and run monthly and clean up everything and start from scratch like that in database and if you want to keep certain number you can just set that number in once any record reach is this setting and it's automatically removed so lots of features given by these packets well documentation you can use for your login user activity and you can show in your admin side one or whatever so thank you for watching the video please do not forget to subscribe my channel